Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. All the viewers, all the subscribers, immensely appreciate the support. For today's video, I thought I would continue talking about options trading on the Robinhood platform. This time talking about stocks that can be utilized by new investors on the platform who may not have sizable portfolios with regards to stock holdings or cash collateral to make options contracts on Robinhood. As I've talked about on a number of my prior videos, and please take a look at those videos if you are new to trading options on Robinhood, each contract that you sell off, either a covered call type of contract or a covered put type of contract, you will need collateral for making that trade. So either 100 shares of the stock or a cash collateral for 100 shares of the stock if you are trading puts or selling off covered puts on the platform. So as you can imagine, new investors with smaller portfolios may have a difficult time either buying 100 shares of a stock or having enough cash collateral to buy 100 shares of the stock in the future on a covered put type of transaction. So I thought I'd take a look at the portfolio at Robinhood here and select stocks that are relatively inexpensive. So new investors without sizable portfolios can either buy the stock or have enough cash collateral to buy the stock for a covered put, as well as stocks that have high liquidity. A lot of the stocks on Robinhood on the options trading platform do not have a lot of expiration dates and within each of those dates don't have a lot of contracts to trade which we'll kind of talk about as we go through the three stocks that are very good for options trading and then one stock that may not be so great a stock that i've tried to do some contract trading with or options trading with on the platform ple apple hospitality it's a great stock for dividend investors i think it's a good stock for covered calls but it's very difficult to sell off those covered calls because there are so few contracts on the trading platform. So having said all that, let's jump into the three stocks here. The first one here, as you can see up on screen, is Ford Motor Company, currently trading at $12.10 per share. We take a look at trade, options, and again, up on top there, you'll see that there are a number of dates to trade with. Each one of these different dates is the expiration date for the contract. And you can see here, there are a number of expiration dates on the other stock that we'll take a look at that I don't think is a great vehicle for doing options trading, APLE, you'll see that there are only four shares to trade with. So very few shares to trade with. On this particular stock, Ford Motor Company, you can see there are a number of different shares to trade with. And if we take a look at one individual date here, for example, July 27th, take a look at the $12.50 call contract. If you go up in the right, upper right-hand corner, you'll see that there are a number of open bids as well. 118 bids for this particular price. If we go up to the $13 call contract, you'll see that there are 50 bids open. So a lot of stocks on Robinhood will have zero bids open, including APLE, again, the stock that I don't think is great for options trading. July 13th, for example, $12.50 call contract. If we take a look at the open bids, 76 open bids. So a lot of open bids for these contracts. $13 call, again, upper right-hand corner to take a look at the details, 100 open bids. So if you do any sort of options trading with this stock here, Ford Motor Company, you'll have a very high likelihood of entering into a contract. Then let's say, for example, you want to buy the $12.50 call here on the bottom for 13 cents per share or $13 per contract. Again, each contract is 100 shares. If we click on one, currently I have all of my Ford tied up in other uh, options contracts. But you can see here that I would have to have 100 shares of Ford in the portfolio. As you can see here, I do not have enough shares open. You don't have enough shares of Ford for the collateral needed to sell Ford at $12.50 call with an expiration date of July 13th. So that is, again, one of the drawbacks behind options trading on Robinhood. If you are a new investor with a smaller portfolio, you'll have to have 100 shares of Ford in your portfolio. If we do a sell put, or selling off a covered put. Let's do the $12 put here, for example. One contract. You can see here I have to have a collateral of $1,200, essentially 100 shares uh, at $12 per share in order to make this contract. And you can see on the bottom there as well, it details this very nicely. You are agreeing to buy 100 shares of Ford at $12 per share before or on July 13th. Again, that is what is called a covered put. If you aren't asked to buy Ford by then, you'll keep your collateral and the full $22 credit or options premium that I receive for this contract. So you can see there, collateral is needed for either a covered call or a covered put. 
Uh, with a covered put, you need cash collateral for 100 shares. For a covered call, you need 100 shares in the portfolio. So again, I think Ford is a great stock to utilize with contracts trading, with options trading for new investors because of the share price of only $12.10 and it's very liquid as well. Lots of different contracts. The next stock is General Electric GE. Again, you can see a very reasonable price of the stock, $13.91. If you wanted to do a call contract on the stock, let's say at $14, you would essentially need $1,400 worth of the stock, 100 times 14, either you bought the stock for a covered call or you have that cash collateral in your portfolio for a covered put. Again, we can click on trade, options, and up on top there you can see a number of different open dates. Again, we'll contrast this with APLE, Apple Hospitality, which only has four open dates. But just like Ford, there are a number of different expiration dates in which to trade. And on each expiration date, let's go ahead and do a July 13th contract. You'll see, for example, the $40 sell call or covered call. There are a number of open contracts. Again, upper right-hand corner, you can see 30 open contracts for $14. Let's do one on July 6th here. Again, let's do a $14 covered call. Upper right-hand corner, you can see, again, 10 bids that are open. So each one of these contracts has open bids. So very easy to jump in and out of these particular contracts. Again, to buy, or excuse me, to sell off a covered call, you need 100 shares of GE in the portfolio. Or to do a covered put here, sell off a put, you'll need to have that cash collateral. Again, we'll do an example here. Let's do one share of GE at $14 per share with an expiration date here. In July, you'll see that I need to have $1,400 worth of collateral in the portfolio to make that trade. Again, each covered call or covered put, you will have to have collateral. 100 shares for a covered call or a cash equivalent of 100 shares for a covered put in the platform. And the last stock here we'll talk about is AMD, another very good stock to utilize in options trading for new investors on the platform. Again, very reasonable stock price here, $15.29. If we take a look at the options trading, again, just like Ford Motor Company and General Electric, you can see a number of different expiration dates here. Uh, in July, August, going all the way out until January 17th, 2020. So lots of different contracts that you can buy and sell. And again, if we take a look at one individual contract, let's say a covered call on July 20th here at $16 per share. You can see up in the right, upper right hand corner, there are 192 open bids, so very good liquidity with regards to options trading. Let's do the $17 call as well. You can see 291 bids are open, so very, very good liquidity and a very reasonable stock price as well. Again, a covered call, you need to buy 100 shares of this stock, have that in your portfolio, but for a covered put, you'd have to have the cash collateral for that particular trade as well. So again, three stocks that are very minimal to trading, Ford Motor Company, GE, General Electric, and AMD advanced micro devices. And let's take a look at a stock that is not so amenable to trading. And this stock here is not such a great option to trade with APLE, Apple Hospitality. If we take a look at the options contracts here uh, for a sell call here, you can see that there are only four dates, June 15th, July 20th, October 19th, and January 18th. Let's take a look at July 20th, for example. Let's take a look at the $20 call. If we click on the right upper hand box again, you can see there are zero bids open for this particular contract. So you'd never be able to make that particular trade. $22.50 call, again, zero open bids. Let's take a look at October 19th, $20 call. Upper right hand corner for the details, there are 83 bids open. So a little bit better on that particular date, but a lot of these will have zero bids open. Let's do a $25 call for June 15th here. You can see zero bids as well. So this is not a very good stock. The stock price is higher, so you'll have to have uh, more collateral with regards to either purchasing 100 shares of the stock or having cash collateral for 100 shares of the stock. And there are very few contracts to trade. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you guys understand what are some good stocks for options trading. Again, new investors on the platform without sizable portfolios. Ford Motor Company, F, GE, General Electric, or AMD Advanced Micro Devices are three very good stocks, have lots of different options open, lots of open bids for each option that is available. Very easy to buy and sell those contracts. And again, the collateral is not that substantial or some of the lowest collateral that you can find on the Robinhood platform.
either either 100 shares of the stock in the portfolio or a cash collateral of 100 shares that you will be tied up in the options contract. So I hope that makes sense. Not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys have any questions on options trading, please let me know. It gets quite complex, especially if you haven't had any exposure to options trading before. I have a whole section on the homepage of the channel devoted to options trading. Please take a look at that. I put all of the videos that I put out with options trading on that particular tab. So take a look at that. And if you guys have questions, please let me know. I'm always looking for new uh, videos to put out. And a lot of these videos are in direct response to a number of questions that you guys have on any aspect of trading, especially options trading. Like I said, it's very, very complex and not as easy as simply buying and selling a stock. So either way, let me know. Again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, we'll see you then.